guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I just wanted to go through this again and this is my um, slow stitching sort of a cover thing that I'm making I'm not quite sure what it's going to be um, whether it's going to be a journal cover or something but it sort of like goes like this now I did do a video last week um, starting it off but I got really quite frustrated because um, as I sewed on some of the fabric pieces they were falling off and stuff I think I took on too much making it so big um, and I'm new to this so I'm probably cheating now but um, to make it easier for me for the fabric to stick down I'm using a little bit of this stuff um, it's what you sort of like hem trousers with um, and you know you just iron it under your fabric and it sort of like holds it in place and I finding this to start with really really simple um, I'm only sort of like putting it in the middle so it's not all the way around the edges um, it's just to sort of like hold it in place so you've still got bits that sort of like move I'm just putting it in the middle bits um, so it's so much easier um, for me to do it because as you can see I probably shouldn't put everything on all in one go anyway I'm not quite sure how you how you do this but I have, have watched a couple of videos um, I'm going to pop the links down below the lady that I do it's K3N I think she is um, that I was watching and she's fabulous um, she's really really good so that's who I have been watching and I did make one of her little my attempt at a pouch which I absolutely love so what I did <clears throat> instead of doing this one I did a sort of smaller version and I stuck it down with this sort of like um, iron on tape the sticky stuff and I found it so so much easier um, to get going um, and I'm loving it I did a little bit of stitching around here and one of my little flowers and then I put one of my flowers on the top and then I've just um, popped some of that lovely um, velvet ribbon that I've got just on to the little, my, my sewing's not fabulous is it, um, just onto the edges there. Um, but I just love it, I think it's really really lovely. So I just need to pop a little popper underneath that bit just as a closure. Um, but I think that's really pretty so I've done this one and the first one that I tried was this which was my shabadashery journal um, doing the cover and like a little um, snippet for the closure so you can see here it's very 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 basic so this is the first my first attempt but I just think it's lovely I really really enjoy doing it um, so I'm hoping just to get a little bit better um, as I go but probably this is um, maybe a little bit of cheating on doing it but I don't know but for me I'm just trying to make my life easier um, and slow stitching is, is supposed to be nice and relaxing isn't it so I'm going to finish this end bit um, just um, so that it's I'll show you what I'm doing um, so it's not a very very long video but I've got some bits and pieces here um, I just want to get this done so again like I said before so I've got a sort of an evening project to do oh this is a little bit of um, fabric from where I dyed um, this is um, what's it called grapes these are grapes off my mum's um, grapevine um, and the grapes are tiny tiny so they're not edible um, but I thought I didn't want to leave them there to rot on the on the little bush um, so I took them off and I dyed some fabric so I thought I'd take a little bit of that as well um, I still haven't made anything from that but I will um, and then I've got these little pieces here so oh I got this long piece which I thought I might just pop along the end and some pieces there I've got my iron got my little diddy iron which instead of my little ironing board I've just popped a couple of little towels down um, because my ironing board is a little bit too high for when I um, am filming so I'm just going to iron this little bit 
tip was to iron to make things flat so it's easy which is a bit of a obvious one though isn't it but I wasn't doing that so we can just pop this one on the end I'll probably cut it off but if we pop that down like that so let's work this way so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take a little bit just little bits and then just pop them on like that and just iron it down just so this lifts up so I can tuck something underneath um, but I just found it so much easier to to work with now this isn't majorly straight this little thing but I can tuck all those little bits under just like that got to be careful it doesn't get stuck everywhere because it sort of like flies about so that can just go on like that there we go perfect so perfect little start isn't it so my desk oh there's a piece let's pop that there right let's go for these little bits what should we have I'm not quite sure which is the best way to show you how big but I want to sort of like make sure I'm you know matching these up a little bit better not quite sure look at that that's quite nice isn't it I don't need it that long that there should I pop that there look at this lovely spotty this is from some fabric for it had a little tea set or tea time one it was it was lovely this is some fabric I got when I was in Spain um, maybe should I put that big piece at the top which I'm going to be doing a journal so that oh, I've got so many journals to do so many ideas and just not enough time let me pull that down so we're on here should I just tuck that under I think I'll have it under both of them like that don't you think that looks quite nice doesn't it pop a little bit of this underneath then I will be able to sit down and do this in the evenings without sort of like bits losing all my fabric because even sewing it was sort of like loose as I get going I'm sure I will get the hang of it a little bit better but like I said for me to start I think this is going to be you know make my life a little bit a little bit easier and it's you know it's a pretty isn't it okay let's take a little bit this is great stuff this is really really lovely stuff a little bit cover all of that up I think I will don't want to have a little gap Gosh, I do like working like this. Let's just iron that, it's a bit loppy. This iron I bought a while ago um, and I've used it an awful lot. Um, I can't remember why I bought it. I bought it because I was doing something and now I can't really remember why I bought it. Um, I'm just doing something I don't know the reason why I don't think I want all of that do we let's just chop this 
But I oh, I was ironing. I think it was because I was ironing my paper. Um, and it was to stop sort of like me taking out my big iron and everything. Um, and my ironing board. So I got it from my desk. That was the reason why. Um, so I just got it so it fits on my desk. A little ironing board is great as well. Um, it fits perfect. Gosh, I mean, sometimes you just need a little... Just plug it in quickly and a little iron is great. Just going to stick that little bit down there. There we go. Okay, what else do we have? We've got this lovely little bit on here. Oh, let's put that on in a minute. It's a little pink spotty piece. Where can you go? Oh, we don't want spotty with spotty, do we? Shall we pop you up here? Shall I pop you underneath that piece? Underneath both? There we go. Underneath both or over the top of that one? That looks better, doesn't it? What do you reckon? You can buy this. This was very, very inexpensive. This is seven meters and it was 75 cents. So that's really, really good value, I think. So these things don't have to be expensive. And when you've bought them, you know, they're in your stash, aren't they? They're there. Um, Just all these things, like I said before in my videos, I if I see something when I'm out and I think that I will be able to use it as a project and it's not going to break the bank, um, I normally sort of like pick it, will pick it up. Um, well, I'm going to just put this like that. Still got a ton of stuff on my desk. My little thingamajig there. There we go. Let's just roll that out so we don't all get caught up. There we go. Let's just do this end bit. But I am loving it. Loving this um, work. And when you watch videos on it, which I've watched a few, everybody has their own way of doing things, don't they? Their own style. Um, although it's all slow stitching, they all have a really nice style, so everything is very individual. Blue, blue, that's quite nice, isn't it? Should I tuck that underneath? It's just... And you can pull it up, you know what I mean, so you can move things about. under there like that. That looks okay, doesn't it? I think it might need to come over just a fraction. Just so it overlaps just a little bit better. There we go. What else do we have? Oh, I like this piece. That's lovely. This is the same fabric as this. Did I stick that down here? That's the same fabric as yet for I coffee stained it. Um, which is lovely, isn't it? Well, I do like that bit. Should we just have that in a little square on there? I've got so many different pairs of, sciz pairs of scissors on my desk. I don't think I stuck that piece down. Up there. Like that. So guys, if you do slow stitching, have you stuck it down like this before? Um, and is it wrong? Is it right? Is there no wrong or right way? Love that piece. Which 
wish we have it. I think it goes best that way, doesn't it? Let's see what we can pop in this gap. What do you reckon? That's quite... That's quite nice, isn't it, actually? But again, I don't need it all. These are just little thin ones, like, I don't know whether you saw the first video I did. But these are just little thin bits of fabric that I've got, little little squares. They're not the best, um, but they're perfect for me to um, practice with, aren't they? That looks nice, doesn't it? Let's just... And then as I go on doing more of this... I will be able to use a little bit more um, different fabrics as I feel a little bit more confident doing it, I think. But these fabrics are just perfect to start with without ruining lovely bits of linen and stuff. There we go. I stick that bit down. What should we have in this bit? Oh my god, I've used that piece. This is nice. Don't suppose it matters being oh what have we got here? Got that spotty, haven't I? What have we got on this little section? That green is quite nice, isn't it? These all lift up. Can I put that underneath? That's quite nice, but again, I don't need it all. Let's just take that. Take that, take you off. Let's just peel you back a little bit. I don't want the little um Ziggy zaggy bits on there showing. So that's a little bit too big, isn't it? Let's take this end off. Pop that in, pop you in there, tuck you underneath. Are you going to fit? Just about, I think. I think. Maybe I need a little something over there. Because I think, again, I don't think that matters, does it? I'm going to... I do need to rip this piece off. back in iron it so it's flat and then pop a little bit of this on you can't sew through this it doesn't make your fabric hard I'm not sure that you you get different thicknesses of it this is thicknesses of it um, but it doesn't it doesn't you can sew through this quite simply it doesn't seem to make the fabric hard should I put that like that underneath there we go like that let's put these pieces out of the way Oops, where's my little piece that I was going to use? Here we go. That's it. I hope I'm in view. Pop that on there. Pop that over. And then stick that down. Lovely. So, there we go, guys. That is what I am using to stick it down. So, this I would like to be the front. 
I haven't stuck it down fabulously well, but you can see where I'm going with this. Let's just iron this. It will need a good iron afterwards anyway. So now, tonight, I can start on this. Loving it. I did sew this little bit down here, a little bit on there. And I sew just a sort of like tiny little stitch um, along this bit because I wanted to see this um, lovely bit of, I don't know what it's called, a little bit of um, texture and stuff in there, which is lovely. So there we go, guys. That's my little one finished now so I can get ready and start sewing. I've got a nice big thing of embroidery thread as well now so I'm quite happy with that so I will get going and then I will let you know how I get on um, so yeah like I said this is going to be my evening project and then I'm going to get on and do my lovely finish this I sewed in the signature so that's all sewn in now um, so I'm just getting up going getting on with the cover so I know I want to show you probably tomorrow's video I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the um, the closure I've got a really lovely idea for the closure so I'm really pleased with that so um, we will get this finished and then we can move on to another journal another style so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um, please stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.